and Joseph would marry Mary. <laughs> Joseph would marry Mary. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to Kids Church. Welcome to Kids Church. Welcome to Kids Church. Welcome to Kids Church. Here's the lesson. Hi, kids. We have a new baby niece in our family, and I'm getting some stuff together to give her. Have you ever been around a new baby? What kind of things can they do? Yes, they can cry. They sleep a lot. Oh. Mess a diaper. <laughs> well, yes, they can do that too. But babies really can't do much of anything for themselves, can they? They don't walk or talk. They can't get themselves something to eat. They need a lot of help. They need loving parents and other family members to help them. In today's lesson, we read about a man named Joseph. He's trying to make a difficult decision. He's engaged about to marry a young woman named Mary. But there's a problem. problem. Mary is having a baby, and it's not his baby. This is upsetting. But Joseph is a good, kind man, and he doesn't want to cause serious problems for Mary or embarrass her by calling off the marriage. Yet he also thinks marrying Mary is not such a good idea anymore. Joseph realizes that if he breaks up with Mary and takes back his promise of marriage, life will surely become very difficult for her. In those days, very few women were allowed to make money. It was the way of the times then. Women needed husbands and family for money. In addition, Joseph knew everyone in their little town would surely look down on Mary and not be friendly to her, since they would believe that Mary had broken her promise to Joseph. This means, one, Mary would have trouble buying the things that she would need for herself and the baby, and two, she probably would have little or no help at all to raise the baby. So with no job or support, how could this new mother and child survive? But still, this baby wasn't his baby. Joseph tried to figure out what he should do, break up or stay together. That night, an angel came to Joseph in a dream. The angel told Joseph that the baby that Mary was going to have was the son of God. The angel said God wanted Joseph to go ahead and marry Mary and help her to raise this special baby. And they should name him Jesus, which means he will save his people. When Joseph woke up, he knew just what to do. He chose to do what God wanted him to do. He married Mary, and together they gave baby Jesus all the love and care a helpless baby needs. Joseph and Mary did what God told them to do. And Jesus grew up and became the Savior of the world, our Savior. Everybody needs help at some time. Even baby Jesus did. And just like Mary and Joseph helped Jesus, we can help others around us. We should listen to God by reading his word. And if we pay attention to what God tells us in the Bible, we will know how we can be of help to others. Can you think of ways that you can be helpful? There are so many people who need help today, and there's no better time than Jesus' birthday to share God's love. Let's bow our heads and fold our hands and pray. Dear God, thank you for Mary and Joseph who listened to you and raised baby Jesus as the earthly parents he needed. Help us to listen to your word the same way and help those around us in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Blessed Christmas, everyone. Would you please like our video and subscribe to our channel? Because then you are helping us share Jesus. Thank you. Here's the music. Here's the music. Here's the music. <laughs> And now, what was the point with Pierre and Jesus? Does anybody remember what was the point of today's Bible lesson? Anybody remember? <laughs> how, about, how about you? Do you remember what was the point of today's Bible lesson? Hmm? Oh, Pierre. Okay. I'm listening. Oh. Ah. Yes. Well, I hope everybody heard that because Pierre said the point of today's Bible lesson was God loves us so much, he sent his son, Jesus, into the world, to earth as a baby, so he could be God with us in the flesh, not just some idea or a made-up story. God sent Jesus, our real, real Savior. Isn't that beautiful? Did you know that? God's blessings to you, and have a blessed Christmas. Here's three days very reading. A reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 1. This was how the birth of Jesus Christ took place. His mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, but before they were married, she found out that she was going to have a baby by the Holy Spirit. Joseph was a man who always did what was right, but he did not want to disgrace Mary publicly, so he made plans to break the engagement privately. While he was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife, for it is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Now, all this happened in order to make come true what the Lord had said through the prophet. A virgin will become pregnant and have a son, and he will be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. So when Joseph woke up, he married Mary. 
as the angel of the Lord had told him to. This is the word of the Lord. God's blessings. God's blessings. God's blessings. blessings. God's blessings. Kids, church.